Hi, this is Manuel from PC Games Software. I've got the honor to speak today with Chris Walker from Intel. Yeah. Great, thanks for, thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Welcome to Germany here at the EFA. Uh, you brought us some nice new chips, not only some new chips, but also even a whole bunch of prototypes and laptops. Something what you call Project Theme. I thought it's a kind of new Ultrabook theme. Is it like Ultrabook uh, 2.0 or how would you describe it? And so we definitely took some cues for uh, what's been successful in the past for Ultrabook. Um, but with Project Athena, what we did is it's really rooted in our kind of understanding of um, what people are looking for in a great laptop and, and what it means for them to be kind of their mo most productive. Um, these are kind of mobile high achievers, mobile go-getters, whether it's at home doing a, a project in studies or at work or increasingly how people are trying to do it all. They might have a side job that they depend on uh, their laptop for, how they're editing and presenting video to the world because that's their personal brand. And what we found is that people, when they go to their laptop, they want to stay focused on the project that they're doing. So performance and responsiveness is so important. Um, they wanted to adapt to that. Um, and they always want to be ready. So when we thought about that, really came down to how do you do all those three successfully and well? Great performance and responsiveness with all day battery life. Um, what are some of the core technologies that you need? Both a great processor, but also great Wi-Fi. Um, so we brought all that together and worked with our partners on, well, how do we, you know, drove a spec, um, worked with over 100 companies in the PC ecosystem. These are both PC manufacturers and component suppliers, software as well, to bring that together so um, you have a great thin and light modern laptop that is both performant and responsive to you with great, with great battery life. And so that's kind of what we really did to bring, bring all that all that together. Okay. Can you tell the major difference uh, to yeah to Ultra Of course, yeah. they're not better. They're still thin and light. They, I think, they're targeting the same people. Um, yeah. What is much more better than now beside of yeah integrated Wi-Fi or so long battery yeah. life? What you'll see is um, you know there's elements that are form factor based. Um, so you know. Uh, thinness, uh, screen to body ratio, so obviously you know narrow bezels on, on systems, but it's more uh, responsiveness, so wakes in a second or less. Um, so when you lift the lid, you are kind of get quickly into whatever like you want to be, phone. whatever you want to be in the in the flow. Um, it has to you know battery life. So when we talk about battery life on the on these systems, nine hours or more of real life, real usage. Um, while doing intensive performance tasks. Or if you're just binge watching, you know, over 16 hours of, of video playback. And we did it at, you know, in the responsiveness, so you're getting nine hours in the way you work, um, or we feel most people are working under the right performance, under kind of the system brightness that you see. So that's an element that takes a lot of tuning, takes a lot of work across us and the Intel and our ecosystem partners. Uh, to get the most out of our chips, to get the most out of, out of connectivity, uh, making sure you have a super wi fast Wi-Fi experience with Wi-Fi 6. Um, if you have a you know, USB Type-C, make it the best Type-C with Thunderbolt so you get great speed, all the capability, all the compatibility with monitors and storage in the ecosystem. So in that case, it's more than just thin and light form factor. It's that plus making your experience great because we thought about how and talked to people about what they wanted out of their laptop. Yeah, the competition at AMD is more focused on you know, more powerful integrated graphics. And Intel is still uh, bringing up Ice Lake with, you know, it's common, common Lake with UHD graphics and Ice Lake has the iOS Pro, I think. This is even in advance. Um, does AMD is more focused and more powerful into uh, integrated graphics than Intel is? Or um, I couldn't. I couldn't answer to their focus. <laughs> what I can tell you no, is, what, 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 what I can tell you is, you know, there's there's a few things in graphics that that, yeah. that, that come into play, and whether it's the UHD graphics or the Iris Plus, um, Intel has a great focus on media, um, and so kind of the encoding. Um, or decoding that's a big part of video, you know, video, um, and the speed at which, you know, if you're uploading your video to your favorite service, how fast does that, that go or transcode? That's been a big part of Intel's, you know, continues to lead 
has led and continues to lead, whether it's our UHD or our Iris Plus graphics. Um, you know, driving displays, you know, with the Iris Plus graphics um, supporting, you know, 4K and HDR, push a billion colors on a laptop screen uh, now. And then, you know, what's maybe a little newer on Iris Plus is the level of, um, you know, good gaming experience at, you know, 1080p, 30 frames per second over the most popular titles that you can do on systems that you couldn't imagine before. And so for our focus, it's, um, it's not just one capability, it's one capability on the types of systems that are hot in the market and people have shown that they want to pop. You know, thinner, lighter, more portable systems with better, with better battery life. Now let's add a little bit of gaming to that, to that mix. And that's what, that's what our focus is, is on and what we've architected our, our, our platforms for. Yeah, nice prototypes up there. Dual displays and yeah. you have pretty innovations, but they're still prototypes and it's not clear if they are coming on the market at all. Yeah. How possible is it that we will see them in new products in the market? Well, a great example of that is um, we showed on uh, a product that a project that we codenamed internally Honeycomb Glacier, which is a secondary screen. And so we thought of that for both gamers and creators in the highest performance laptops where uh, think about you know having a secondary screen to help you with maybe you pin your toolbar down there, or if you're in a game, your heads up to display or maps or, or, or stats. Now, you know what you saw just you know as early as um, you know June and in the market now is a product like the ASUS system or the HP system for uh, for gaming that have brought an element of that uh, secondary screen technology into market. So, you know, things that we worked with OEMs on and thought about in prototypes are actually in market now. Um, and then, yeah, we're showing uh, some examples of what could be next and how do you work with two dual displays or ambient computing uses, right, to make the laptop more useful with the, the lid closed and different personal interaction scenarios. And some of that we think about in prototype to help us develop our chips um, help us work with the greater ecosystem on what's what's possible for components, and then some elements of that. Um, you know, we we collaborate and work in work together with PC OEMs to bring that to market, and some you know um, might might stay in the lab. But uh, you know, my experience is everything has its time, and so we've been really encouraged to see you know things that we we've, we've worked on both as Intel, but more importantly with our partners um, actually come to market and be, be really exciting and successful products. All right. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you very much for being here. Cool. Thanks.